Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in plasticity. Well, today we're going to be modeling a tire, right? So we're going to hit four on the keyboard or click on object mode, click on this guy and hit X to get rid of it. And there you go. And then we're going to jump to our top view and we're going to grab a uh, reference. So we're going to go to import and append and we're going to go to my desktop and grab this guy right here. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit a G. We're going to move this guy to the center line right here. And then we're going to move it up to about there, I would say. Right now, I'm going to create a number of curves here. They're going to be hard to see because of the color. So I'm going to click on OK here. I'm going to hit M on the keyboard. I'm going to change the opacity of my reference image to about 0.3. So you can see my curves a little bit better, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, by moving this over. That's just a personal preference. All right. And we're going to go with a spline curve. Now I'm going to start here. And you can be very exact about it and move the CVs until everything is absolutely perfect. I'm going to go a little bit quicker for the sake of the video. But I'll show you how you can adjust your CVs just so you know, right? So we're going to do that and then we're going to take a straight line I'm going to go from here up to there. Let's get in here. Now, there are tiny indentations down here that are circular. I'm not going to do that. Lost my connection, looks like. Try it again. Sorry. I'm just simply trying to keep the speed in the video, right? And go there and right click. All right. Then we're going to go in here in the line mode or hit two on the keyboard, select these two, hit J. So they're now combined. Hit Alt X so we can mirror that over and my mirror gizmo thingy is down here. Click on it and then we're going to go in two once again. Click on OK. One and two. Hit J on the keyboard and combine them. Now if there's anything you want to move here, you can just simply uh, hit one on the keyboard and for example, grab this and move that out. And because I already mirrored it, I have to do that here as well. But just so you know how to do that, right? Cool. Okay, now let's go back to line mode. There you go. Now, once I have that, I can hide my reference. And there you go. I'll have something looking like this. Now, um, the center point is here. So let's see if that will work for us. Uh, what I need to do is uh, select this guy. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to go to revolve. And I'm going to click here. And come on. Click. It's a bit finicky, but click right there. OK, cool. Now we're going to click on OK. And I'm going to change my material so I can see the whole thing. I think this one's even better. And now I can choose whether I want to adjust the width or not. So I'm going to hit S on the keyboard. And I'm going to simply pull that out a little bit until it looks a little bit more like a tire, right? Cool. Now, there's still a curve in here somewhere, uh, that one, that we don't want. So I can drag select, right? Let's go to curve mode, drag select, and hit X just to get rid of that. So there's our tire. I want to get rid of that, um, that shiny stuff. Just click. 
click on this to get rid of those lines. I think that looks fine. And for certain types of tires, this would be your finished product. I just want to show you how you can also add some, um, some profile to it. So how I want to do this is by just going in here and grabbing a cube and we're going to make a little profile. And then we're going to scale that in. We're going to move that up. And I'm just figuring this out as I go. So bear with me, right? So we're going to move this up. And what I'm going to do is scale it in a little bit. And then we're going to angle it. And we're going to move it in. Something like that, right? And then we're going to click on OK. And we're going to mirror that. So we're going to hit Alt X. My mirroring gizmo is over here. All right, cool. We're going to click on OK. We've got these two selected. We're going to go um, to a radial array. Click here. We're going to increase the number uh, quite a bit. Let's do 30, maybe more even. Let's do 40. 40 looks good. We're going to click um, OK. Then we're going to click on this guy in object mode. We're going to click on Q. Then we're going to go in here and select all these guys got all of them except these two Okay, so we've got that so far. Then what we want is to have a little pattern in the middle there. And the way I'm going to do that is grab a cube from the top view. All right, and then we're going to create a little shape here. So we're going to hit E, uh, sorry, R to rotate. 45 degrees, and there you go. Then we're gonna go and click on OK, and then we're gonna take a center rectangle actually, and we'll take this. Let's rotate that. 45, we'll hit the G to move that up. Okay, we'll click on C to cut. We'll click on this guy, click on okay. Get rid of that. And we're gonna go and Get rid of that. Then we're gonna jump to our top view. And go to object mode. G to move that. And I want it to be 
out here so we can see it. Scale it a little bit. That looks about right. We're going to hit uh, G, we're going to move that in. And let's turn this back on so we can see how far. Click on OK. Then we're going to go and do a radial array again. There you go. Click on OK. Click on this guy. Hit Q on the keyboard. And then we're going to go and select these solids. Click on OK. And now we've got something looking like this. And just to give you an idea what this would look like if it is textured, I'm going to uh, bring it in to Keyshot, uh, apply a rubber material and show you what it looks like. Click on Import. And there you go. We're going to look for the material rubber right here. Drag that in. We're going to go and adjust lighting. Let's do an outdoor environment. That's not very bright. Let's do something like this. And we're going to go in here. We're going to go to global illumination. We're going to go ground illumination and we're going to go interior mode. Um, still not a lot of light. So we're going to go to environment. I'm going to go to the editor. Actually, let's go into settings. Let's increase the brightness. All right. Then we're going to go in and we're going to add a pin light right here. I'm going to move that over here somewhere. That looks all right. Increase the radius a bit. Not quite sold on the background yet. That's the background's fine, the environment, that's what I meant. Um, let's see. This looks pretty good. Just a matter of increasing that light a little bit, right? Yeah, looks good to me. So yeah, that's what Atari would look like, right? So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Bye.